Our first honoree of the evening, Stacy Winnick, has done formidable work on behalf of our kids and families. She's developed a following of almost 9,000 people on her Facebook page, Chappaqua Mom Sales. Through that page and other outreach efforts, she has amassed an army of angels who help her collect and distribute donated food, clothing, and other essentials for those of our families who need it most. To tell you more about Stacy and her devotion to our families, I'd like to introduce Michaela Patterson. Michaela attended our center throughout her childhood. She is now an excellent student at Ossining High School, and she works in our three-year-old classroom after school. Michaela? Thank you, Howard. My first memory of Stacy is when I was in the school age program. It was during the holiday season and she donated tons of pillows and toys. Since then, she has become a beloved member of OCC's family. During the holiday time, Stacy has become OCC's version of Mrs. Claus. She has these huge drives and gets carloads full of toys. She makes sure that every family with financial limitations doesn't leave empty handed. She also sponsors a great holiday party. She gets a DJ to donate his services. Another one of Stacy's specialties is gathering as much clothing as she can for a free boutique for our families. She makes sure that everything is in good condition before she gives it to anybody. She also has been an amazing friend to our families, but when COVID hit last March, many of OCC's parents lost their jobs. Stacy gathered an army of volunteers to donate and deliver free food to those who needed it. She also got complete meals donated by restaurants for families. One of Stacy's most active volunteers was my grandmother, Hope Patterson. My grandmother works for OCC, but during this summer, she was on furlough because of COVID. She donated her time to deliver food to those who were sick with the virus or who could not come to pick up their food. Stacy coordinated all of these volunteer efforts. Stacy, on behalf of all of OCC's families, including me and my grandma, we could never thank you enough for all you have done for us. Thank you. Good evening. I want to thank the board, Howard, Claudia, Sean, and Juan for this incredible honor. I have enjoyed volunteering for the Ossining Children's Center for the past 12 years. In fact, my entire family has dedicated their time and love to volunteering for the center. Our lives have been changed for the better because of the center, and I could not be more proud to know the staff and families involved in making the OCC a beacon of hope and joy in this community. Twelve years ago, I came to the center just to drop off clothing with my older son, Max, who was eight years old at the time, and my younger son, Leo, who was three at the time. When I arrived, I was met by an incredibly warm woman, Assistant Executive Director of the OCC, Claudia Weger. After talking with her for a while, we found out that Claudia grew up with my husband's family. We had an instant connection. From that moment on, it was truly a family affair of volunteerism. I accept this in honor of my parents, Edward and Florence Winnick. Both my mom and dad did not have easy upbringings. In the post-depression era, their families suffered financially, and they worked endlessly to create a better life for themselves. My mom was the only girl in a family of five children. Her parents were immigrants from Russia who spoke very little English and struggled to put food on the table. Actually, one day, finding themselves sitting with their belongings on the street, waiting to see if they will have a roof over their heads. With nowhere to turn, my mother started working at the age of eight. My mother never forgot those years and she vowed to dedicate her life to helping others. When she met my father, that is exactly what they did together. They furnished entire apartments for multiple families who were struggling. They sent a neighbor's son, a talented musician, who later became a successful movie producer to UCLA for the full four years. And my mother even rescued a stranger who fell through the ice. I was there. 
and she didn't know how to swim my mother. By far the biggest challenge to date in working with the OCC has been the COVID-19 pandemic. That has put my commitment and strength to the test. Our world has fundamentally changed in an instant, and I realized how many families were struggling, and I needed to help. I had to mobilize right away, so I created a food, clothing, and housewares pantry just for OCC families. I put the word out for volunteers, college students, high school students, and families across our community came to help. We partnered with local farms and restaurants to donate food. We had community members donate groceries. We galvanized our community to help others in need. I am so grateful to have been able to help so many struggling families like my parents did, and I will continue to have their backs. Looking back at this past 12 years, I am filled with utter joy when I think about the incredible people who have become family to me through the Ossining Children's Center. The experiences I've had with my sons at the OCC has shaped their lives and instilled with them the need to make time for others. Volunteering is so worthwhile. For every second you give others, you will get back tenfold in pure love and joy. Take the time, make a difference, live outside of yourself and your surroundings. Thank you so very much. We are so grateful for generous volunteers like Stacy who give from the heart and truly care for the OCC family.